But there is no stopping this man. He's stopping <laughs> yep. it out. Turned his face into <laughs> flat Stanley. And then stopped and took a look at him like. Mm. Oh, he's still breathing. And then started hitting the shoot on this man's fucking head. <laughs> Not like Jack's 99%. Rick Warriors. Folks, it is Rick Wah, and for this video's reaction, I'm gonna be reacting to Do Black Lives Matter in Baki by Ola Wulo. Damn! Oh no! Oh yo, just I, I will say this real quick. When it comes to Baki and just like people doing commentary stuff relating Baki, that shit is always hilarious and very enjoyable to me people like AR manga and other content creators who've talked about Baki it's always been fun <laughs> it's been fun times watching reacting to content like that but oh yo for this one specifically oh man Muhammad Ali's son got cooked and Michael I mean Iron Michael got cooked Man, Biscuit Oliver got cooked later? Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. But Muhammad Ali's son? I feel like he got done the dirtiest out of, out of all the black Baki characters. Oh, my God. Ash. <laughs> Yo. But this is going to be my second video reacting to involving reacting to content from Ola Wulo and I figured I'd do something Baki related in this case being so oh man I know I'm gonna be in for quite a treat involving this one as y'all will be in for quite a treat involving this one to say the least but I'm gonna get right into it and I'm gonna switch over to the green screen webcam real quick y'all there we go folks also I hope all of y'all are having a wonderful day today as well and please be sure to check out and support Ola Wulo within his content creation journey, along with any other content creators that I react to, and supporting them within their content creation journeys. But before I get started with this video here, I would like to give a very special thank you to everyone for the positive support from watching my videos to liking my videos, for the positive comments on my videos, sharing my content around as that does help with the algorithm, and especially to all of y'all who have subscribed to my channel and made sure to smack the bell button so then y'all know when it is that I'm uploading new content onto my reaction channel. The support is very much so greatly appreciated. Y'all are amazingly awesome, folks. Okay. And if there's any videos of suggestion y'all have for me, please be sure to comment that down in the comment section below. And if it is a video that I've already seen, then I'm not going to react to it because then it is not a genuine reaction on my end. So just want to make sure to point that out. But without further ado, let's get started, shall we folks? He's caught both new life with Karenese. While one of my brothers bleeds, I can't like breathe. Ah! Damn. Oh, black Wait, you must think I'm one of them sucker white Wait. boys, you Movie oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, Dang. oh no! Oh, no. Yep. Nah, nah, hold him still, hold him still. I got some from. Be advised. I like big black men shaking oh. their oily booty cheeks. Oh. My wife is the most beautiful woman on earth. The smell of panties, man. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Luther King didn't die so that Mr. Oliva could be out here clapping Gorlock to destroy his booty cheeks on Black History Month. Like, I swear to y'all, on EDP's life, Baki is funded by the Cool Kids Club. If y'all don't believe me, I'm gonna go through every single black character's nigga lore, and we're gonna find out if black lives really do matter in Baki. Oh, yo. Yeah. 
Yo. So we start right here. The night of shadow boxing is thought to the legend himself, Muhammad Ali. And he's jogging with what looks to be Scotty Pippen with a snapback on so tight his brain's about to fucking explode. Marcus Brownlee somehow with an even more fucked up high top than oh usual. And these two randoms what? in the back who decided to tag along for Black History Month. So this squad of severely pussy deficient oh men continue their sprint. And one oh by God. one, they just kept disappearing. At first, Muhammad thought Queso was behind them, swallowing them one by one like Pac Man. But then he remembered. That nigga's in prison serving two counts of obesity. <laughs> oh, and he turned around and you drew f***ing hard, but was just standing there with his hands in his pocket playing with his dick. And you gotta remember, this is Japan in the 1980s. Black people are a foreign concept. This man, Yujiro's probably just looking at him like, oh, nigga. Oh. So obviously they're about to have a nigga moment. So Ali swings up yeah. and look at him. He was literally in his own head dick riding himself. Boom, headshot dead. I'm giving criminal back shots to any nigga that move. Nobody can fight me. Yeah. Except maybe Killer Mike. Bruh. But this man, Yujiro, just standing there with a Roblox smirk face. I don't know how you dodged that shit. But Ali just has fuck it. just smashing that whole button. And this man, Yujiro, just crossing his ass oh up. Had him dodging from like a dumbass. Come on, catch me. You can do it. Just pretend I'm a oh Popeye chicken oh, sandwich. Oh, oh. This man threw like five punches and is already out of stamina. Where the fuck did they find this nigga? Is this Muhammad Ali off Timu? This motherfucker came bundled with a rose toy. Anyways, oh. so the black ancestors aren't about to have this nigga catching an L on Black History Month. So they hop on the comms like, I can if I tweak that. So we enter the Nigatar state. That ass unlocked their new form and started glowing. I thought he was gonna go super nigga three. So he swings and you try to dodge that shit like he dodges child support payments. So the dude is literally laying Damn. on the floor. I don't know why he just doesn't start bouncing on his fucking cranium. So instead, he decides to piss his pants to do the little dirt thousand the yard stare. Then you just said, you're not Rosa Parks, nigga, move. And just flip this man completely. Anyway, so he grabs him and puts him back down. And I thought he was about to hit him with the meanest hard R slur filled Ooh. combo since Keemstar. But surprisingly, you just starts glazing this man. Oh my God, wow. I'm touching Muhammad Ali. I just, I just know you be fucking bitches. Can I tell to your face on my back? I got a dumb ass <laughs> on Twitter with the IQ on fucking swing set. Oh. Richard Clinton, you fought against the system for those broke, no pussy getting zero motion Africans. You fought against your own government for the sake of Vietnam. You fought to destroy racism in America. You're... You're just him, bro. Can you follow me back on IG? Look, what? look, I even put Black Lives Matter in my bio. What? And Ali just hit this man with the Lamello ball. I, I, I appreciate the dick writing, sir, but what? I'll run it. And ever since then, Yujo Hanma's been fighting the battle against oppression. He even stopped trying to kill his son and became a Jehovah's Witness. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I was wrong. Fuck, he isn't even racist. Even super geniuses with oh. fat racks in their pockets oh. can be wrong sometimes. It's what they want you to think. Oh. Because they'll beat this two elixir little nigglet. First off, what? how did you pop out your mom's coochie oh. already? He fat as fuck. And look at his hair <laughs> on him. They didn't give this man a chance, bro. It's just straight no! to the strawberry mint hair oh, oil. And did no! the wife cheat on his ass? Oh Blue nigga looks more like Rod Wave than Muhammad Ali. And what makes what? it worse is that fucking Rod Wave fucking sucks. Somebody smell like shit. Oh, look at those weak no. ass punches. He punches the fucking baby. What? I hear doing one damage. Yeah, he might be healing him. But usual wanted to be nice, so he started gassing him up. Ooh, ooh, kill him. Ooh, 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 kill him. Ooh. <laughs> Damn! Killed him. Took one teensy weensy flick and he's crying like a blow pussy ass God bitch. Stop damn. crying. Uh, huh? I busted nuts all across the globe, huh? so you better get strong. <laughs> My fabulous children are gonna need some calm. Get some trend in that little nigga's milk. I don't give a f. <laughs> what you gotta do to make sure you don't grow up into a bitch. Oh so fast God. forward, so and Ali Jr. Yo. took the advice. He said it's a new year, new me. But I'm gonna yep. keep 100,000. He's still the same nigga! But he ain't do nothing but step back. Only difference huh? is that he grew up to look like fucking Phoenix off Timu. Like, huh? I just hate this nigga. Like, what are you smiling for, bro? Nigga looks like he's been followed with. Like a what? fucking goofy goober. Ooh. Like a regular customer at Winnie Hut Jr.'s. This bitch ass nigga. I'll give him a props though, because he has balls the size of Shaquille O'Neal's bald ass head. Because now he's about to rematch Yujo clapping Damn. nigga's booty cheeks. Yeah. Oh, so he starts bouncing up and down, getting ready to fight, looking like Meek Mill, getting ready to take some dick, allegedly. And you just smiles and starts laughing like a hood nigga who just got their first set of grills. Furthermore, this the real joke ass little fucker was like, I'll say this before we begin. If I win, you gotta give me an infinite end pass. So Muhammad swings, and bro, what is that form? This man is not the son of Muhammad Ali. He's the son of a random crackhead on the street. Anyway, so you just takes a bite out of his glove and is like, Mmm, tastes like oppression. <laughs> it's like a skull busting roundhouse that dude, which had to make that post so chipotle trip to the toilet face. Oh, and you was just like, I have good reflexes. But he ready for this? And he gets down and pops his pussy for Obama. Oh, what? Look at me. What in the homosexual? I'm not fighting you. And Yujo's P. Diddy freak ass is like, What are you talking about? This is the ultimate <laughs> Even his father couldn't overcome it during his fight. And Ali's just looking at him like, You 36! No one questions this shit because it's Yujo Hanma. But this man is the ultimate unemployed nigga. Like, it was 
was 10 a.m. on a Wednesday morning, and this man was in Antarctica fighting a fucking polar bear. Like, they can't die. <laughs> Not to mention, this dude is pushing 40 and left his son in a chop sold. He got to run oh, out the house when he plays the what? music, so his roof don't fall on him. What? Like, you telling me this man didn't have time for his son, but he got time to be out here spreading his what? legs open oh, for random grown ass men? And he got his ball sack aroma sticking up the whole room talking about something. I'm dead. So he just walks to the door and he's like, Oh, nigga, you gay. <laughs> And you just fucking lose the Yo, he did. Where is he? Where is he? Where is, he? <laughs> is that you? Um, um. Want a sprite cramp in? I'm not gay. I'm just a bisexual nigga from Atlanta. Look at the smile <laughs> on this man's face. That's a W for Black History Month, bro. I hope y'all enjoyed his moment of black excellence because that was the only <laughs> time he showed that shit. Right after this, he went and got the black pride yep. being out of his Ooh. body by not one, Jeez. not two, oh. not three, but five big yeah. ass niggas. All for uh. a single snow bunny. Are you serious, my brother? First, he called her on her celly talking about some. <laughs> <laughs> so she immediately ran over to catch some BBC. Yo! Now she she ass oh niggas in here waiting for her. Like, God Born damn, this detected. man is so ashy. He's screaming out to God, like, God. Please introduce this nigga to some nation. Skin out here looking no! like Spongebob when you're trying to die for Nash. Nah, like, they're really trying to tell me they didn't know what they was doing with it. And this is my brother. Anyway, so she sits down and with the no, fucking fuck This freaky frog Yo. is like. I like white girls more better. Okay. Yo. Especially the thick time. In no. other words, pog. Pod. Pog. P A W G. A what? Fat ass white girls. It's no hope for you, brother. Go ahead and stay with her. You have been excommunicated from the African community. Okay, bunny hopper. He was ready to marry her and sit himself to a lifetime of potato salad oh and various God. assorted cheeses. What? Also that Bucky would get mad and fight him. Anyways, before he leaves, he uses a sexual harassment risk. Hey, where my hug at? Ew, you ashy ass nigga. Even Dora the fucking Explorer is not finding your hug. Can you spot the lame nigga? Should what? give him a hug? This nasty nigga kissed her anyways. Oh she tries to God. slap him, and this man has the audacity to dodge it and say, yeah, I'm just on that, buddy. What? Now you gotta give props when you see him, man. That's the R. Kelly mentality. So in order to farm some XP, this man really posted one of those looking for a friendly fade, Tokyo area. We're gonna get ice cream after. And the first motherfucker to show up was this 75 year old needs assistance yep. to wipe his ass. What? Old ass man. <laughs> Holy shit. Someone get this man in the ring with Jake Paul ASAP. Oh hey, my God. can we hurry this up? My big booty Latino uh, wife's cheeks what? are waiting to be clapped at home. <laughs> I get seven heart attacks every time I nut. Uh, what but the? It's so huh? worth it. Anyway, he just came out of his ass. I don't fall in line. Man, I found out till my knees when the law came. Then he fought Joe Rogan a few his off-trend bologna sandwiches every single day. Knocked his ass out, too. And after winning two fights, he was feeling himself. And you're probably at home watching with that last $5 in your pocket like a broke-ass nigga. What? I agree with the dude. I can't blame him. <laughs> I thought he was cooking, too. Until he met Jack fucking Hanma. Yep. He found this man in the middle of eating a meal that prime Nicocado Avocado's fat ass would eat. Except Ooh. instead of dying at 40 because of fucking diabetes, he's gonna be dying at 30 because of steroids he's injecting to his fucking ass crack. Like, this man just has a full inventory of eats. And look, he's full. Ooh. He's just eating for fun. He doesn't give a fuck about the hungry, hungry kids in Africa. Anyway, so Ali pulls up and walks into the biggest mistake of his lousy yep. career. And yep. he challenges Jack to a 1v1. And Jack's just like, Shut up, nigga. I'm eating. This motherfucker looks like Eminem and he just called me nigga. Hey, man, I don't think you should be saying that word. <laughs> what? Nigga, shut your bitch ass up and let's go. So they go to the same warehouse that Playboy Cardi scammed Aiden in. Uh, and Jack didn't waste man. any time. He just took his shirt off and started swinging. He got straight weaved and got bopped in the head, yep. staggering his ass like an Elden Ring boss. And Ali Jr. is just landing all these game-ending punches oh, while Jack is just gosh. eating them and getting ready yep. for his turn. And Ali Jr. is completely perplexed. He's like, um, excuse me, Elixir nigga. You should what? be asleep by now. But he didn't know Buff oh, Eminem has a metal plate in his jaw. He eats that shit oh. for breakfast. Do this, oh! Hit him so hard he went flying yep. into a pillar, had him remaking uh, that hunger. fucking screaming emoji. While this man Ali is moving like his tummy, <laughs> Jack hits one of the most iconic oh T poses of all God. time and just starts slowly walking at yep. this dude, Eminem playing in his own head like. <gasps> Look at his fucking shoes. <laughs> no brand, no color. This man just went to Walmart and grabbed the first thing he fucking saw. Why would you fight a nigga like this? This is someone who doesn't give a fuck about nothing. Anyway, so he tries to tackle Ali, but he got caught with a sky. But he has the same reaction every time, like Jinx. Yep. <laughs> Not bad, man. 
What? <laughs> Took another left hook. That don't work. Oh my god. Before the smiles to the camera look like that statue from solo leveling. Man proceeded to throw this man like he was a used condom. Had him bouncing off the concrete. Like look what he did yep. to this man. Had him upside down. Look like Miles Morales. And it was like, <laughs> he realizes he's cooked. So he genuinely starts rapping for his life. Cinnamon, cinnamon, all feminine, all feminine, all venom, and hot venom, and cinnamon, all feminine. Yo. Oh, man, 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 but there is no stopping this man. He's stopping yep. him out. Turned his face into Flat Stanley. And then stopped and took a look at him like, mm. Oh, he's still breathing. And then started hitting the shoot oh on this man's God. fucking head. <laughs> now that Jack's 99% sure he's dead. Oh, no. He's like, ah, good shit. I killed Yo, him. Now let me get out of here before crazy. the cops come. Oh, who am I kidding? I don't care. I'm white. I'm black lives matter. White! Oh! Oh, <sighs> oh You'll no, You'll never be the out. face of hip-hop. With oh that trash God. ass music. And that's when Ali heard boss music. Yep. So now buff Eminem with hurt feelings jumps Ooh. at Ali. Tries to hit him with a low suit, but catches the right hook to the fucking jaw. Had him hitting the stanky leg. Then got his get back oh. by punching Ali yep. with the left leg as well. Now they doing the stanky leg together, except Jack was ready to hit this nigga with a shot. Oh. Oh. And then mid air posing like Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Like he's oh just getting God. violated. Then he's still asking for more. Like what? this man might have a pain kick or something. What? Why is he still trying to fight? Niggas Yo. like that and have a boo He got hit with a fucking oh. fist to the skull. Turned his face into the top of Tyler One's head. And bro, look at his head, <laughs> bro. He's never gonna make Popeye's the same again. So Jack feel like his job is done. Gets ready to leave. But this dumbass is still trying to fight. Punk so fucked up. He's out here sound like Mike Tyson. Yeah, come on, man. Let's keep, let's keep going, man. What? Jack just takes one look at him and is like, man, shut the fuck up and stream my music, bitch ass nigga. Mom's spaghetti. Knees weak, arms ahead. <laughs> and he just walks off. Anyways, he runs back to the snow bunny and she's like, Oh, oh my, my god, god. Ashy nigga, what happened? What? And he was like, Hi, you don't worry about it, shorty. You know what I'm saying? I was dropping down my little Hellcat. Hey, shit. And I look out my window and there's a shorty getting harassed by like six big ass niggas. And I ain't about to sit there and just let that happen, you feel me? So I pulled out $10,000. Cause I just, I just be having that shit on me type shit. And I threw it at him. No scope those niggas in the head. They fucking exploded. So, anyways, I saved the day, get back in my car, and then my diamond girl's diamond watch, everything just started shining. In my eyes, I crash into a tree. It was chill because I was just about to walk it off. Okay, shut the fuck up, nigga. We know you're lying. Uh, I need my get back. So they go out into nature. Gazer, gazer. Yep. And Ali's like, Did you forget I already beat your ass, nigga? You got dementia? And Unk is just like, Oh, you thought that was a real fight? <laughs> I just needed help knocking my hemorrhoid out. So they start fighting, and Unk immediately just yep. substitutes in Jutsu as pun. Puts oh. both straight to Skadoosh position. And it's yep. like, oh, I'm sorry, young whippersnapper. This gonna hurt like shit. Yep. And just snaps his finger and tosses his face oh. into a fucking tree. Had that man's face grinding on the wall and pause. Like, he yeah. grinds on male what rappers, no pause. And Ali's looking at his finger like, oh. one, two. Okay, no. two. Good. Okay, three. Good. Jesus. Okay, four. No. Uh, do my own thing. Fuck, I'm never Yo! gonna be on Valorant. Wasn't giving him no oh time to rush his into the tree. No, I'm about to do you so bad. Oh. Yo, he here's the thing, right? <laughs> so f ironic that I paused. <laughs> Just like the time where <laughs> the thumbnail was like around and about <laughs> for this video. <laughs> God damn it, bro. But I gotta say, even though I've already seen like all these episodes and whatnot, just seeing that extreme gore as in bones being shown, you, you know, like someone's bones being broken, like while wow, the body's still intact, y'all catch the trip. Just like basically just extreme amounts of gore and or blood within, like it doesn't have to be like IRL like, or, or, you know, like real life actors in a movie and then like, those kinds of like very gory scenes happen that can also apply to anime and or cartoons yeah no that, that still gets to me i mean i love the, the anime baki is godlike but just anytime i be seeing those kinds of scenes i'm just like <laughs> kind of time that's just a me thing though <laughs> oh yo but continuing on I'm putting this shit on Facebook. So Ali, not trying to get embarrassed on camera in front of all the sexy grandmas. Tries to turn around and rub his oh. broken finger on him. Punk just uppercuts him and then pops his yeah. head. Smacks the back of his head into the ground so hard that bro got dizzy like he took a drink from Bill Cosby. Oh, and then what? proceeds to grab uh, a broken oh. finger and just starts fucking smashing his head into yeah. various objects in his surroundings. Yo. Oh. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> 
that was a good workout. All right, man, I'm about to go clap my big booty Latino wife's cheeks now. I'm just not <laughs> away, leaving this man on 2 HP. Didn't even oh leave him a God. chug jug or nothing. This man's diabolical. Oh my what? God, what happened this time? <laughs> you know, it's like, Wait. So my Bugatti. <laughs> so Jordan came back and he wanted to get back as well. He yep. didn't give him a chance to pop a mini or anything, bro. He wanted his fade expeditiously. So he takes him to this <laughs> random back alley and treat him like a GTA prostitute. And Joe Rogan's like, you know, you just knocked me out of my punch, but uh, I wasn't on DMT at the time. You know what I'm saying? So let's run that shit back. Now Ali's just looking at him like, yeah, I'm in a cast. Like, I can barely move my body. Oh, so your pussy? <laughs> At this point, they're just taking turns bullying this nigga. Because yep. what's he gonna gain from beating up a cripple? And look at this dumbass. He accepted the fight. At this point, I'm convinced someone needs to airdrop this nigga a brain. Why are uh, you still fighting? Anyways, he yep. sees first. Hits Unk straight on his forehead, and this nigga's hand snapped in half. What the fuck? Who gave Unk four now? You see, any normal person who cherishes their ability to jerk off will surrender the match right there. But for some reason, Ali Dumbass Jr. desperately wants to end up like a reverse Joe Swanson. So he keeps fighting. I'm telling you, Dana White's a max level dickhead. Because he just starts spamming heavy attacks on this man's hand. And it's already on life support. Like, dog, just forfeit. This man clearly does not respect your love for my own lives. Like, nigga, are you about to cry? And he uses all this bullshit Far Cry 4 healing technique Yo. and just wraps up his finger like that's gonna do anything. But Unk hops up, like, chill, my nigga. You're not Bruce Lee. You're doing way too much. And just steps on his tail. Oh. That's like the ultimate disrespect you can do to a black man. Actually, got this nigga mad as fuck. He starts swinging again, but at this point, his hands are as dangerous as a yep. floppy dildo. All he's doing is hurting what? himself. But now, Dana White like, successfully broken every limb in Ali Jr.'s body, and he's like, oh, oh no, my job's done. Here. Puts oh his all God. white suit on. Hmm. <laughs> Wonder what that reminds you of. And walks away. Oh! But of course, they made him go back to the snow bunny. Like, dog, let it go. It's over. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm fucked up. <laughs> We should have seen the other guy. Oh, the other guy in question is currently chilling at full HP, yapping about DMT and ice baths. And he's still talking shit. He should have aimed for the head. Nigga, you should have went to the hospital. Anyway, so yep. he goes home to finally rest, but no one is trying to let him get his HP up, even his own dad. Oh, oh. my son. Why have the people been telling me I tried to romance a snow bunny? This information cannot be true. Dad, come on. Everybody knows black girls are rats. I just Ooh. smacked the taste of milk straight out that nigga's mouth for saying some dumb shit. <laughs> I'm so hard he rebooted to factory settings. It's over, because now yeah. Uncle Ali got the angry African rage boost and all his attacks Yo, are now critical man. strikes so ali tries fighting back but oh it's pointless Unc ali hits him with a two-piece yep. boom boom and now ali is seeing the light look at his face you know this thing about a call child protective services anyways a true winter soldier never learns his lesson so here he is about to have a final 1v1 against baki hanma which is the absolute definition of coughing baby versus nuclear bomb and then they said yep. it's a fight to the death like what is he thinking so the fight starts and baki's walking up all nonchalant this whole arc he's been pretending like he don't give a fuck about ali trying to riz up his girl nigga even said <laughs> she's your but whole time he's been holding his anger because boom, Africa had to be racially motivated. Hit him so hard he started looking at the lights like You are my sunshine. Is Anyways, he gets back hey, up and he's like, you messed oh up. You God. should have killed him when you had the chance. Cause now I'm gonna fuck you up. Ah! Yep. Punk ass black bitch. Oh. Hey, you must think I'm one of them sucker white boys. Oh. You fucking ass nigga. Oh. And Bucky is genuinely about to make this nigga a hashtag until his daddy yep. came in to save the day. And to make matters worse, after the fight, dude was on his knees crying. Not even because he got turned out by five different niggas, disowned by his father, and has the Smash Bros haircut of hell. He's crying because <laughs> nobody rejected him. I'm telling you, Bucky does not give a fuck about. Black yeah. They humiliated this man. Everything I said in this video was a joke. I am not a racist. I am not a black supremacist. Leave a like for part two. Love oh y'all. Peace. God. If I had to guess, part two is probably going to be about Iron Mike and uh, Biscuit Oliver. And any other black characters that were involved in Baki. And my apologies for if I forgot any other black characters that were uh, a big part of Baki, like Iron Mike and Biscuit Oliver. Well, Iron Mike wasn't really too, too much involved. He was, yeah, I mean, at least when Baki went to prison to try to fight Biscuit Oliver. But y'all catch the drift. Oh, yo. But I gotta say, yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah, that, that season of Baki, they definitely did uh, Muhammad Ali Jr. so <laughs> dirty. It's crazy how dirty he was done. Like, oh no. And he just kept making the same mistakes over and over and over until 
Baki went about and made sure that balls.exe stopped working. <laughs> oh my god, that is f wild. Jesus, man. But I, I will personally say, though, that most of my closest of close friends are people of different color, different ethnicity, and of different race. So just making sure to also point that out as well, too. So, yeah, fuck racism. So there's that. And, I mean, yeah, I, I know it's just all joking within the video and whatnot. But it's funny just with, like... Ola Wulo's uh, commentary and meme and sound effect incorporation into the mix. So, yeah, that, <laughs> that's also that too for why it was as funny as it was, to say the bare minimal least. But, yeah. <laughs> Either way, great amazing stuff to Ola Wulo for this specific video. And I'm going to switch back over to the regular webcam real quick. There we go, folks. Hope you all enjoyed that as much as I did, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely very wild and as well too with the nurse mix of that. <laughs> oh man, but either way, I'm at the end point of this reaction video, and if y'all have gotten this far, I do greatly appreciate that. It's basically I'm finna bounce. So there's that. And if y'all like this kind of content on my reaction channel, of course, please be sure to leave a like, leave a positive comment share my content around as that does help with the algorithm and if y'all have not already of course please be sure to smack that subscribe button and the bell button so then y'all know when it is that i'm uploading new content onto my reaction channel the support is very much so greatly appreciated y'all are amazingly awesome folks <laughs> and until the next reaction video that i upload peace out y'all